Welcome back. This is Word Harriman, AE6TY. Today's topic is accessing the transmission line database inside Roos blocks and Daemon blocks. What you'll see today requires at least version 17.2 Cook M. Most of you are familiar with accessing the transmission line database at the top level. For example, when you add a transmission line and you click on the model. This has changed in 17.2M. The dialog is different. It now comes up as a single vertical dialog, scrollable. It has a new feature, which is the ability to search for things. So, for example, I can say I want something that's 8x. Now, the words up here, the order doesn't matter. But in order to find something, all the words have to be there. So, for example, 8x found this one. If I want to find the next one, I can say down for the next one. If I want to find a particular manufacturer, I could say RadioWare, or I could say, oh, look, it won't find Radio Shack, so it's not there. Go back to Belden. You can put any number of words up here. Again, the order doesn't matter, but they all have to be there. When you're doing a find, the cursor will be light blue like this. And to end the find, all you do is hit enter, and now it becomes dark blue. You can, of course, select anyone you want by using the mouse. And if you double click on it, the dialog will be terminated. You can also just say enter. Let's look at how you can use that database inside a ruse block. I'm going to bring up a circuit which I've already created and is available in the SimSmith samples directory, which you can get by downloading and unzipping the file from the help menu. You can say fetch this, it will give you a zip file, unload it, unzip it where you want it, and you can use it. Again, it's in the T-Line models in Ruse block. It's an example. I'm going to jump to it uh, right away into the Ruse block here. We want to use the transmission line database inside of this Ruse block. Now, it used to be that inside here, all you could really have was either the explicit parameters of a transmission line or a literal string, which was the name of the database entry you wanted. Version 17.2M now allows you to have a variable in here. So you'll see there's no quotes, and I just have a variable name MDL. And I want to be able to select from the database the value of this variable. Version 17.2 added a function or a, a parameter declaration, which was called select one of, which is given a list of options, select one and assign it to this variable. Get T line options is a function inside SimSmith, which will give me the names of all the internal database models. Now, when you're typing this, it's often the case that you can't remember the name or you type it incorrectly. And version 17.2M now does some suggestions. It tries to use some, some fuzzy string matching to see if it can find something close to what you're interested in. In this case, I had left out an E and it said, well, maybe it's this, and it tries to put the most probable one first. If you get it right, but you get capitalization wrong, it will say, well, maybe it's this, and there was a capitalization error. So in any event, don't be afraid of trying some function names in here. The new version of SimSmith tries to make some reasonable suggestions. Now back to the, the problem at hand. Select one of will give me a, a parameter, which you'll see MDL, here's the name of the parameter, and this is a list of all the options. So when I click on this, I'm going to get the I'm going to get the dialog and and just like 
at the top level, I can pick whatever I want. Now, the next thing I wanted in here was the length. In this case, I wanted the length to be in inches. So I said the parameter length name is inches or in, and I want it to be in inches. And unlike the top level transmission line, I decided not to list all the parameters and display all the parameters about the transmission line. If you'll remember, this gets to be fairly lengthy. And in a roast block where you could have multiple pieces of transmission line, you probably don't want everything. You're probably only interested in a couple of things. In this case, I was interested in the nominal velocity factor and the effective velocity factor. And so I simply said nom vf, which will create a parameter nom vf. And I want to assign it from the transmission lines and nominal velocity factor. Or in this case, the effective one is the transmission line of the effective velocity factor. And if you want to know what's available inside concerning the transmission line, there's a couple of ways. The best way is to come over here and say inside A, the transmission line. Here's all the things that you can ask about the transmission line. If I go down inside the internals, I can see all the stuff that's down inside the internals of the transmission line model. So I can get things like R plus J omega L. I can get the effective resistance at DC, the K factors. So you can get it pretty much everything you want to see and over here, you just put in the appropriate equation. So that's how it's done inside a roost block. You can have any number of pieces of transmission line. Of course, you could have any number of different models and just simply have multiple MDL, like MDL1, MDL2. Everything works pretty much as expected. So this works pretty much the same as the top level, except you have to explicitly list the things that you want to display. Now, sometimes you want to compute things um, concerning the transmission line, but not actually use it in a sweep. You want to get direct access to the underlying database in order to do some computation. And I'll show you how you can do that inside this block again we're going to use the select one of to get a model and here i'm going to use a, an internal function called the compute internals in this case it's going to compute the internals of whatever model is selected here at the given frequency and it's going to put that internal data inside dollars int now if you want to know everything that's inside dollars int you could come over here and you can say, here's all the stuff inside. Unfortunately, it's off the bottom of the screen here. I apologize that for that. I'm going to go down here off your window to see something called ENV. And here's all the things down inside the transmission line database, all the calculations that are done by Dan's code. Well, there you have it accessing the internal database using the select one of inside a roost block and ac accessing the internal database for random computations that have nothing to do with the actual circuit being displayed. Hope that was helpful. Drop me a line if you got more feature requests. My name is Word Harriman, AE6TY. Thanks for watching. Thanks for using SimSmith.